biggest crisis facing Japan this morning is the fear of a meltdown at the damaged nuclear power plant in Fukushima. 140,000 people in the area have been told to stay indoors because of high radiation levels. Joining us now in the studio to explain what is happening here is nuclear expert, nuclear energy expert, James Acton. Good to have you with us in the studio. As we look at what happened overnight, we've got this explosion that happened early in the morning in Japan, and then now we're hearing uh, that some fuel, fuel rods may be actually boiling. I mean, is this just spiraling out of anybody's control? Well, the last 24 hours, Erica, have been a particularly bad time for e even this dreadful crisis. Uh, we'd seen two explosions already in units one and three. But this third explosion, unlike the other two, was actually inside the containment building that surrounds the reactor. And that's significant because it's going to make it harder to prevent the release, of, the release of radioactivity. And then the spent fuel, the used nuclear fuel sitting in the pools, the fact that that uh, has caught fire is also serious because it now means that there's another pathway by which radiation can reach the environment. So there are these two sort of new pathways in some respects. Is it possible to contain this? Well, um, I think a catastrophic release of radiation on the scale of the Chernobyl accident here is extremely unlikely. Mm -hmm. But containing smaller releases of radiation that are nonetheless very serious is becoming increasingly hard. Increasingly difficult. And then you think about all the people who live in this area. We now know the number's up to 140,000. They're asking people to stay indoors. They can't stay inside forever. What happens next? Well, you know, I, I, think, I, th I think we have to remember throughout all of this that Japan was hit by the largest earthquake in its history, a massive tsunami, and that entire region at the moment is in absolute turmoil as people uh, don't have houses. So this is not a uh, or food or water. So this is not a crisis that the Japanese government can manage in any perfect way. There is no good solution to this, and to some extent the authorities are being forced to make it up as they go along, um, given the extraordinary challenges they're facing right now. Based on what you're seeing, based on what's happened, especially in the last 24 hours, do you think we're getting the full story of what's happening? there? I don't know. And you know, I've been frustrated, as many other people have, about the amount of information coming out. But let me say this, which is, as I've mentioned before, there's been this massive earthquake, this massive tsunami. The operators probably all have their own personal tragedies to, to deal with in a crisis of unprecedented magnitude. So there's going to have to be an investigation. We're going to have to find out who knew what when and how much was revealed to the public. But I think at this stage, given the extraordinary challenges the Japanese authorities are under, it's too early to criticize right now. And probably best to just work on containing and focusing on the task at hand as much as they can. We've been told there are now just 50 workers inside there. This is incredibly dangerous work, especially as we know how high the radiation levels are. How long can they stay in there? Well, it's going to depend a lot on the exact level of radiation within the plant, and I haven't got accurate data on that right now. But I think it's often worth emphasizing that in these kinds of nuclear accidents, the, the heroes of this crisis are the people who decide to stay in the plant at very significant personal risk to themselves in an effort to prevent a much larger tragedy. And they must know what that risk is. They know what they're doing right they now. They can be in no doubt whatsoever about the personal danger that they're in. It is quite a quite a scene that you paint. Good to have you with us. We appreciate your expertise this morning. Thanks.